What's up guys? Welcome to Top Form for you. Today I'm going to show you a quick way you can access your Gmail account and uh, sync all your contacts uh, to this uh, Huawei MatePad and uh, this method works with any Huawei device. So you can access your Google Drive, Google Classroom and use Google Meet um, without the need of any Google services installed. So uh, to get started, first uh, we need to install an app. So uh, I've got another video showing you how you can get all the apps uh, you can see on these tablets here without the need of Google services. So uh, make sure you check my other video or I'll leave a link in the description below. So uh, I'm just gonna open APK Pure. Then uh, search for Outlook. That's the app I'm gonna use. This that Outlook, Microsoft Outlook. Then install. Okay, that has been installed. So let's go back onto the main screen. So let's say uh, Outlook is there. I'm just gonna move it there. So the next thing, just open Outlook, and then get started. Then here you sign in with your Gmail account. So I'm just gonna type in my Gmail. Once you put your Gmail account, it will direct you to the browser to sign in. Just do next. And then here, just scroll down and make sure you allow to access all your details. Um, otherwise, you you won't be able to sync uh, your email or your contacts. So you just tap on allow. And then when you come to that screen, you can just say maybe later that unless you wanna add another account, you can add it from there. So later skip and that's it so as you can see you it's already logged in so all my emails are there yeah so but when you look let's go on to uh, contact it's not showing any contact at the moment so all you need to do just open outlook again go on to the setting at the bottom left then tap on your email on the top under accounts. You just tap on the email and switch that same contact, switch it on. Make sure you switch that on. A message will pop up to um, ask you to allow uh, Outlook to access your contact. All you need to do is just type allow and that's, uh, that's done. So uh, all you need to do, go back. And now if you open your contact, so all your contacts will show there. So uh, that's your contact on. Okay, next I'm gonna show you how you can access Google Classroom without the need of uh, Google services. So uh, I'm just gonna open Chrome. You can use any browser, but I use uh, Chrome for, and then uh, search for Google Classroom. And then tap on the first link there. and then tap on go to classroom. So when you click on go to classroom, it will ask you to sign in, but because I've already signed into my Gmail, so it, that's why it didn't prompt me. So uh, but if it asks you to sign in, just put your Gmail account and then your password and then sign in. So once you sign in, um, so were you already in your Google Classroom? So all you need to do is just tap the three dots on the top right and then tap on add to home screen. And click on tap on add, then add. So all that does, it creates an icon on your home screen with uh, Google Classroom. So 
just close everything so where anytime you want to open it you just need to tap on that and then it will take you straight to your google classroom okay and the next one i'm going to show you how you can access your google meeting so but first you need to go onto your settings and then go to apps and then go to apps again and then find chrome or the browser either if you're using a different browser you need to find your browser there so we we'll find it and then open it up and under permission and make sure it's got access to your camera and your microphone otherwise you won't be able to use it once you give it access just uh, open chrome again then go to google so uh, on this you have to make sure you enable desktop site by going on to the three dots on the top right and then request a desktop site so tap on that and then the square open tap on the square with the dots and then you can see there google meet so we just tap on that one and you're on logged in so again if you're not signed into your gmail it will prompt you to sign in or you need to do just sign in here you can request a new meeting or enter a link to access the meeting so where uh, the next thing i'm going to show you how you can access google drive so you just do it the same thing just open chrome and then go to the home screen and again enable desktop site then tap on the three on the on the square with the dots on there and then find drive and there's your google drive so all you need to do just tap on the three dots and then add to home screen and then add then add and close up and then go to the home screen and there you go you got google drive there okay so uh, anytime you want to access it just make sure everything is closed just tap on google drive and then it will take you straight into your google drive and google classroom the same tap on it and then it takes you to google classroom so you have your gmail using outlook you have your contacts synced up so uh, that's it Thank you for watching and uh, make sure you subscribe and enable notification for my latest video. Take care and uh, I'll see you on the next one.